Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we've got some more new products. First up from Springfield Armory, we have their Hellion. Now the Hellion came out about a year ago, maybe longer. Um, and now they've got two new variants. They've got an 18 inch model, which I don't have here. Uh, and they have a 20 inch barrel variant. So uh, really the back half of this uh, firearm is essentially the same as that original Hellion. Uh, but this version has the 20 inch barrel. And what a lot of guys are wanting this for is it's much uh, similar profile configuration to that original VHS uh, rifle that was uh, issued uh, for Croatia. Uh, it's got this 20 inch barrel and then it has these, uh, it has a bayonet lug up here too, uh, but then it also has these rings which uh, emulate that grenade launching capability of that original uh, rifle. But otherwise, you can see here, it's a nice handling uh, bullpup rifle. It's in 5.56. Uh, and you can see it balances quite well. The center, the center balance is pretty much right at the pistol grip. And that's handy when you're doing weapons manipulation and you don't have a bunch of weight out front and you can kind of stay on target uh, and manipulate the firearm as needed or do anything else. Uh, the neat thing about the Hellion also is some of its features that it incorporates uh, from more modern uh, firearms. So at the rear here, we'll start there. You do have a collapsible stock. So you saw that length of pole was pretty pretty long and it does have a long length of pull, uh, but you can shorten that up uh, via that feature, which I don't think I've seen on any bulb up. Uh, so you can get in there a little bit tighter, which is nice when you're standing up. And then moving forward, you have an adjustable cheek piece right here. Uh, and then the magazine well uh, is right here. And then this is your magazine release. So when you go to grab that mag, you're simply squeezing it and then you can rip it out uh, and insert as needed. You can configure this rifle out of the box to be right hand eject like this. You can see the ejection port cover right there, or you can swap it to left hand eject. So if you're a lefty, you can uh, turn that bolt around uh, and then have it eject out of this side and you're not having brass uh, in your face. Uh, and then moving forward, the other nice feature of the Hellion and you get a lot of features packed in uh, for this base rifle is you have uh, these flip up sights, which I need to figure out. It says press right there. And if I press that, <laughs> it'll flip up. Uh, so that's buttons there for me. Uh, and they have adjustable, uh, an adjustable feature here for elevation at the rear. So you could buy this and shoot it out of the box without optics with really nice iron sights. And these are not uh, plastic uh, backup sights. Uh, these are uh, metal sights. Uh, through and through, uh, completely adjustable uh, for, uh, well, elevation at the rear on the fly, but then you zero up front, just like a standard sight. Uh, so pretty handy there. Uh, moving a little bit forward, you have a full length Picatinny rail, so you can mount your optics here. You can even mount uh, aiming devices. And then up, up front with a handguard, you could have uh, your lights, uh, whatever else. The charging handle, is completely ambidextrous. You can pull it to either side, kind of like a G36, how it flops forward like that. The safety selector is nice. I think they improved this with the first version as well. So you can see here, really short throw, and you can just hear how positive that is, uh, its engagement. So safe, fire, and then you can see here the trigger, safe, fire, and there's a little bit of take up, and then it's got a wall, and then brakes pretty darn clean. I've got an AUG and that's uh, a lot better than an AUG. Uh, and it does take standard AR-15 pistol grips. Uh, you just have to be careful with the beaver tail uh, that may or may not be compatible with aftermarket grips. Uh, I believe that's like a BCM grip with a swappable plug. And then moving forward, another nice feature, you got QD sockets on both sides. I missed that at the rear. You do have QD sockets on both sides there as well. So you don't have to go to Brownells and buy extra QD sockets. Kind of disappointing for us, I guess. Um, and then up front here, you've got an adjustable gas system. So if you do put a suppressor or you're suiting some weaker ammo or something, you can adjust uh, the gas system right here. So it's a fully featured 5.56 five, bullpup. Uh, really can hold its own with anything else out there. So that's the new Springfield Hellion with a 20 inch barrel. And then also new from Springfield, we have their 2020 Rimfire. Uh, so this looks like a bolt gun, but it's uh, just a you know a simple Rimfire, but it's got some nice features to it. And it is, uh, this is really meant for 
precision uh, at range with a 22. Uh, so going through things, I'll start with the stock. It has really kind of a match style. Uh, I believe this is fiberglass based on the feel of it. Um, it's pretty stout. You do have a sling swivel at the rear, one at the front. Uh, that'd be nice for bipod mounting. And then back here, you've got a large bolt knob, uh, which is super easy to actuate. There's really, there's no hiccups. Like some, uh, some 22 bolt guns, they got some oddities with them. You got safe, or I'm sorry, you got fire, safe right there. And then one thing I thought was really neat about this is the magazine that takes a standard 1022 mag. I did not know that originally about these. I think that's a great selling point uh, on these rifles. At least that appears to be a Ruger 1022 mag. And then moving forward, you have a free flow barrel. Uh, and then up front, you can barely see it, but that is threaded. So you can attach your favorite muzzle device, silencer, what have you. Um, so that's the Rimfire 2020 from Springfield Armory. Nice setup. And then new from MDT, we have their Oryx bipod. This just came out. Um, of course, it's a new product video, uh, but this is uh, really their uh, new polymer bipod. It comes in at a great price uh, and it's got some really nice features that you have typically seen in uh, much pricier bipods. So here, of course, I have it extended. To fold it back up, all you gotta do is press up. You can see this textured part right here. You push or you pull down while pushing up on the, the gun itself, I guess. And then it'll fold forward and you can see it's right there, just like that. And I can do that the same with the other side. Everything's super intuitive about it. And then to fold it down, you just slap it down and it's good to go. Uh, they do have a tensioning knob or, or lever right here for a cant. So I can easily adjust that. And you can see I can do this with one hand quite easily and I can tighten it up. So I can get position, get to wherever I am, and crank that down and fix it in place. The adjustments on the bipod legs are nice. You can't rip and, and pull on it. Uh, so you have to depress this, pull down to whatever position. I believe that's about five positions you can choose from uh, right there. And you can see nice and stout and it uh, locks in place uh, solidly. The bottom here, uh, the feet, it's got this uh, over molding uh, with a little bit of texture on the bottom. Uh, nothing too crazy, but that's a nice feature. Um, and then just as far as how uh, sturdy it is, you can you can really load that and it's not, there's not a whole lot of play to the bipod. So you can load it either direction, either rearward or forward uh, with ease. And I should say, I forgot to mention, uh, this version is M-Lock. Uh, there, there is another variant available, uh, but right here I just have that directly mounted uh, to this rifle uh, via the M-Lock slot. You can see just how easy that is to manipulate. And then since it's direct mount to the M-Lock, you don't get a crazy profile to it where it protrudes extra far below the rifle because it's sitting on another adapter or something like that. And you can see the profile here too. It's uh, nothing too crazy. It does have a relatively nice flat bottom too. So you could put this up on a bag if needed. Uh, it's not gonna get in the way. So really for the price, uh, the MDT Oryx is going to be really hard to beat. That's a great bipod. New from MDT, and you can check it out on Brownells. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.